show trial. That Enterprise fired on Kronos One without provocation. The Chancellor and his advisors... Having been lulled into a false sense of security by an invitation to a state dinner aboard Captain Kirk's vessel at precisely 1930 hours that same evening. Call your first witness. After the first shot, we lost our gravitational field. I found myself weightless and unable to function. Then two Starfleet crewmen came walking towards me. But perhaps they merely wore Starfleet uniforms. That remark is purely speculative. I move that it be stricken. Colonel Wolf, we are interested in facts, not theories. If the gravitational unit was not functioning, how could these men be walking? They appeared to be wearing magnetic boots. Gravity boots. Dr. McCoy, would you be so good as to tell me what is your current medical state? Aside from a touch of arthritis, I'd say pretty good. <laughs> you have a singular wit, Doctor. For 27 years, I've been ship's surgeon aboard the USS Enterprise. In three months, I stand out. You know, I believe that you consumed rather generous amount of Romulan ale in the officer's mess on the night in question. Am I right, Doctor? Objection! Sustained. We all did. All of us. That doesn't mean that... Was Chancellor Gorkum alive when you first examined him? Barely. Now, be careful, Doctor. Have you ever, in your past, saved patients as barely alive as he. I didn't have the medical knowledge I needed for Klingon anatomy. I see. You were there. You say you are due for retirement. May I ask, do your hands shake? Objection! I was nervous. No. You were incompetent. You were incompetent! Deliberately or as a result of age combined with drink. The court will have to determine. My God, man. I tried to save him. I tried to save him. I was desperate to save him. He was the last best hope in the universe for peace. The witness is excused. There we have it, citizens. We have finally established the particulars of the crime. And now, we come to the architect of this tragic affair. James Tiberius Kirk. What would your favorite author say, Captain? Let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the death of the kings. Tell us your sad story, Kirk. Tell us that you plan to take revenge for the death of your son. That's not true. Objection! Captain Kirk has not been identified as the assassin. Sustained. I offer into the record this excerpt from the captain's personal log. I've never trusted Klingons. And I never will. I've never been able to forgive them for the death of my boy. <laughs> I've never trusted Klingons. I never will. I've never been able to forgive them for the death of my boy. Are those your words? Those words were spoken by me. Objection! My client's political views are not on trial. On the contrary! Captain Kirk's views and motives are indeed at the very heart of the matter. This officer's record shows him to be an insubordinate, unprincipled, career-minded opportunist with a history of violating the chain of command whenever it suited him. Continue. In 
Indeed, the record shows that Captain Kirk once held the rank of Admiral. And that Admiral Kirk was broken for taking matters into his own hands in defiance of regulations of the law. Do you deny being devoted to these charges? Don't wait for the translation! Answer me now! I cannot deny. You were devoted? Yes. For insubordination? On occasion, I have disobeyed orders. And were you obeying or disobeying orders when you arranged the assassination of Chancellor Gorkon? I didn't know about the assassination until we boarded the ship. You still deny the Enterprise fired on Cronus One? Well, for honors, please! And you still deny your men beamed aboard and shot the Chancellor? Objection! I cannot confirm or deny actions I did not witness. Captain Kirk, are you aware that as the captain of a starship, you are required to be responsible for the actions of your men. I am. And if it should be proved that members of your crew did, in fact, carry out such an assassination... Jim, they're setting us up. Your honors! Do not answer! Captain Kirk, you will answer the question. As captain, I am responsible for the conduct of the crew under my command. Your honors, the state rests. Send to Commander Enterprise. We stand ready to assist you. Captain Sulu, USS Excelsior. It is the determination of this court that the prisoners are Guilty as charged. I wish to note for the record that the evidence against my clients is entirely circumstantial. I beg the court to consider this when pronouncing its sentence. So noted. Captain James D. Kirk, Dr. Leonard McCoy, in the interest of fostering amity for the forthcoming peace talks, the sentence of death is commuted. <laughs> judgment of this court that without possibility of reprieve or parole you'll be taken from this place to the dilithium mines on the penal asteroid of Rurapente there to spend the rest of your natural lives throughout the galaxy as the alien's graveyard. Better to kill them now and get it over with. <laughs>